Hello, 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 beautiful, beautiful souls and family of light. Lordy Lord, how excited am I for today, day four out of seven lives, hugely divinely guided inspiration that came to me through the depth of meditation. So cheers to that. I'm having a cacao drink, raw cacao powder, and I am sitting with one of my favorite crystals at the moment. Yeah, I took it from Andrea. So I am having fun with this one, feeling the energies and going deeper, deeper into the piece. Huge, big welcome to every single one of you. Hi, Rehema, my beautiful friend, Lily, Trish. It's so nice to see you. Hello, everyone. Post below if you're watching this live or on repeat. And please be sure to share this content on your platforms. We just never know when someone out there Maybe it's your friend on Facebook without even seeing their face actually is missing, actually is in need for that kind of energy and frequency. My name is Eliza Mozal. I am an energy healer and a spiritual mentor, and I help people heal their energy. I help people heal their energy, their frequency, so they can create their new life, healing, manifestation from a higher consciousness without a constant sweat and struggle so this is what we do like emma says have missed you lately lovely to catch up with you this evening because it's in uk i'm in in florida uh, dear sister Elisa, it's so nice to have you here Rahema. thank you so much for your beautiful heart and Rahema has been with me on this journey watching this journey of mine for years now, I dare to say three or four years, and I will touch on that today, but most of all, if you are on your own journey to heal, if you're maybe using meditation, breath work, Dr. Joe Dispenza teachings, Bruce Lipton teachings, uh, oh, so many other spiritual practices, maybe you listen to Muji and Eckhart Tolle, maybe you read their books and journal, hi Cindy, hello girl, so nice to have you here. Wow, my goodness, what a crowd. If you are on your own journey, Lena, to health, growth, expansion, to feel that magnificent inner peace, this is a right place for you. I'm going to advise you to watch every video I did this week. It is on my profile. It is on this platform. And I would definitely advise you to watch it few times after you get yourself calm, after you go back into your heart, after you take few deep loving breaths and journal it out. Journal out what is it that your heart your highest aspect of you, your own healer, your own highest light aspect, wants you to remember what is it from this video and video number two and video number one is the most important for you to remember and implement in your journey. And please share in the comments because that allows other people, that allows more people to see this content. So it's not only that you can benefit from it, you can be a chain of loving help, helping others to see that comment by liking, sharing that with others, commenting below. And my two puppies are going a little bit crazy again. I fed them, they're healthy, they're happy, and they're just a bundle of joy. We did today. Hello, babies. Let's say hello to everyone. You want to say hello to everyone? Okay, so this is Puccina and this is Ali. And they are right now having a playtime. Okay, I'm going to let them go. Go, babies. Go, 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 go play, go play, go play. <laughs> oh, no, no. Camera is too far much more interesting. Okay, babies, go and play. Be easy on her, Puccino. Be easy. Good boy. We give them a bath and I kid you not, guys, it is such a fun. Okay, how can we heal or how can we manifest by using energy? And I'm going to go into that today and I'm definitely 
providing you with a high frequency content here and most of all through the energy that is flowing through me but before we will go into the subject i would love you to center yourself in this now moment so you can because we cannot receive higher frequency energy if we are on the slow frequency it's like you have people with who are cannot find what everyone else is seeing in the front of them okay and this is entirely me i had such a massive brain fog and inability to stay still and actually practically use my eyes that i was unable to see what everyone else was seeing so if someone even posts a link i would be the one who would not be able to find that link I would be the one who would be refreshing the page, the group, and I would not be able to find the link. And, 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 and I'm coming across a lot of people like that as well. They ask for help. They ask for joining something, there, but they cannot simply see what is obvious to everyone else, what is, what, is, what is normal. And then I had to learn that it was because of my low frequency of guilt and shame that it was not allowing me to center myself and see. Therefore, for your greatest good, so you can receive this information today, I am going to guide you through a few breaths to recenter yourself. So let's sit up straight, everyone, again. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Jim. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Steve. Hello, everyone. Uh, allow yourself to sit up straight. Allow yourself to relax. Allow yourself to shrug your shoulders. Allow yourself to move in a straight and comfortable position with open hips if that's possible maybe you can put your legs like that and allow yourself to close your eyes and just feel just feel not with your head not the story your mind is programmed to tell you but just feel with your internal senses not to judge it, not to resist it, not to cling into it, but just simply feel. And one of the most terrifying and difficult things for people to do is to sit like that, in stillness, in sadness, in silence with themselves, with one another, so let's practice that, which brings the biggest results. Oh my goodness, that cacao is amazing. Hi, Twish. So grateful you're living your dream. Married, a mom, and so happy. Elisa, your energy is infectious. Thank you so much, Twish. I appreciate you big time. Allow yourself, everyone, to take a deep, loving breath very slow very deep the breath that goes to the very bottom of your torso hold for a second or two and let it out very slowly and lovingly everything that happened and didn't happen so far And feel, feel, feel with your lungs. Feel, feel, feel with your heart. Take another loving deep breath to the very bottom of your torso. Hold for a second or two and let it go of everything your conditioned mind tells you it should or shouldn't happen after this breath. And the last third deep exaggerated loving breath to the bottom of your torso. Hold on for a two or three seconds and let it out just because you are worthy of your own love, your own compassion, your own presence. And now when you return back, slowly open your eyes, but still keep some of your attention on your inner energy field. That's the key. And then you can pick and choose, you can choose what piece of information, data slash light is useful to you. Your heart, when you will keep on having some of your attention on your heart, on your heart center, 
you will start practicing emotional intelligence as well heart coherence which is a huge big deal in all this work and most of all you will start connecting with the empowered particle of yourself and now you can hear and feel okay is that lady on the screen do i have anything in common is this something that i like there is that frequency helpful and useful to me today or on my journey or in this whole chapter if she was able to heal deep codependence, depression, leaving for years with suicidal thoughts, alcoholism, deep loneliness, single for seven or eight years, am I able to heal as well? If she could do it, can I do it? Okay, and we will talk a little bit about that as well. And feel, 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 feel. Please let me know. Send me a little emoji, heart, like, or if you felt, if you feel the difference. Lena is sending those emojis. Yes. Please comment below. Comment below. Did you felt it? Can you still feel? And I want you to tune into energy. Leslie Ann, girl. Hey. Tune and feel, feel, feel. And if you can feel it and pay some of the attention to the outside while you pay attention to the inner awesome i'm getting beautiful notifications yes uh, that's that's it that's the key that's the key that's the key hold on to it for your dear life your life depends on it the quality of your life depends on it and you can read a lot about it in the power of now a cartola cindy hello thank you for your beautiful heart and feel, feel, feel. Now I'm going to give you another challenge. Close your eyes again. And I'm going to teach you about going deeper. So my heart right now is in a frequency of heart coherence. It's a really high frequency of love and light. It's a really high frequency of I'm not interested in lower frequency. I feel compassion towards lower frequency, I know what is it like, I can tap into it in a split of a second, yet I am not interested in going there. My focus is so sharp on raising my frequency, staying on a high frequency, and if someone wants to come around with me for a ride, so it can be pulled up together with me through my frequency, go ahead. But I'm not interested in lowering my frequency to please anyone who is maybe feeling intimidated or uncomfortable with someone like me being in their power. So feel in your heart that frequency of empowerment and freedom that beams out of me right now. And this is a really specific frequency, really specific frequency. I sigh out loud because this is as well how I teach you to do the same so you can signal to your body and your nervous system that it is okay to turn on your parasympathetic nervous system, the relaxing state of being out of survival where your body is receiving the signals it is safe for me to relax and then it releases that tightness in many different places, usually around energy blocks, and as well allows your whole body to function in a different way. Your stomach functions better way or fully entirely, your liver, your kidney, not only the survival organs. And feel as well in your heart. So receive that energy through your heart. You might feel slight, tight, little, little, tiny tingling. You might feel nothing, and that's okay. Allow yourself to have focus on your heart and feel and feel and feel the energy that I am sharing. It's beaming out of me. I'm not pushing, not forcing it to you. I am it. I get it, sister. Your knowledge is, past, is powerful. Thank you, Trish. I appreciate you so much. Leslie Janssen's heart again. Thank you so much. So feel, feel, feel. And this is exactly a huge big part and key into how we heal and manifest with energy. The old way of being, creating, manifesting, is through wounded 
masculine that has been ruling this world for a very, very, very long time. And this old way of manifesting is based on pushing, forcing, threatening, fighting, survival. It is very much centered, uh, centered around first three energy centers, which is all about survival. And if these centers are blocked and out of alignment and overflowing with lower frequency energies like guilt, shame, fear, lack, all that wounded masculine is based on all of these aspects fear, lack, unworthiness, shame, shame, huge massive shame, carried shame from generation to generation. All of that is happening uh, subconscious. It's a subconscious coding. It goes straight to our genes. It goes straight to our blood before we are even born. Most of the time, this is the experience I'm having from having hundreds of healing sessions done with other beautiful people. Lina says, I feel tingling in my whole body and I do this many times a day and breathing love. Yes, 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 yes. You are more energy and less matter, Lena. That's how we heal. We feel, we feel, we feel, and we choose what we feel. We choose we choose very carefully the frequency we want to feel and experience in our body. So this old way of being and creating is based on fear and lack. And it's pushing and forcing towards something that it is out there. So in order to have a freedom lifestyle in nature, we need to save up for the retirement. We need to work extra overtimes to have an extra things. Maybe when we will retire at the age of 65 or 70, depending on the country you are in. And the, the age is constantly changing higher and higher. Um, and then, then you have a permission to relax, retire and enjoy your life if you can still move your body. If you have still any zest left within you to actually do so. Um, the new way of being is an entirely different. And this is exactly the age of Aquarius. Just join now, Joy. Yay! You're going to need to watch this from the beginning, Joy, when I will finish. Uh, it is so powerful. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. So the new way of being is not working, trying, trying uh, to create or push or force anything from those lower energies. It actually works entirely other way around. Because this new way of being, it's based on working from taking action only when we have to, from healed masculine, which is divine masculine, which every one of us has. Masculine combined with every single one of us, independently on your sexual preferences, on your gender, independently. We all have a mixture of masculine and feminine within us, more or less depending on a person, depending what you cho chose as a soul to express yourself as in this lifetime. That's what I believe. That's what works for me. Choose your own belief that works for you right now. Um, and this new way of being is based on creating from a healed masculine, taking action from healed masculine. But most of the creation happens from healed feminine, divine feminine which is the receivership, joy, relaxation, resting assured. I am receiving that which I am. Manifestation, definition of manifestation, is experiencing on the outside what we are already being on the inside. So it is only normal and natural. It only makes perfect sense that if we are being that which we desire to experience before it is manifested out there and we're resting assured, knowing deep inside what that feels like, 
what that looks like and we reconnect energetically with that picture every day and when we need to take action which is absolutely normal and natural we take it from a place of healed masculine energy because masculine is doer it's a provider masculine is a, is a giver the feminine is a receivership the feminine is owning being something already it is a creation creator and creation force as well so allow yourself to feel that which you desire now your mind now if the energy is not healed which is guilt shame unworthiness the stuff that happened when you were five year old and then that situation that happened with your auntie and your grand when you were 12 and then when you were in school through the age from 7 till 14 this and this and this happened on a daily basis all that accumulation of all this blocked energy that we spend most of our time to push down and resist if that's not released if that's not healed, if that's not transmuted into from dense stuck old frequency into light and flow, there is no way that we can create from a higher frequency. And we manifest not what we want, not what we desire, not what we there is out there. We get what we are being listen to neville goddard listen to dr joe dispenza listen to greg Braden. listen to bruce lipton listen to aaron doughty listen to everyone everyone who knows what they're doing everyone who manifested their life we don't get in life what we want we get in life what we are being so if i am finding myself in a life situation i am not happy with my job is to go here, zip it, go inside or ask for help if I don't know how to do it, go entirely inside and see how am I creating this reality and the perception of what's happening or not happening, how am I being a doer of this situation and it is a huge, it was really difficult for me, guys what you see right now or here it is not who I was a year ago. It is not who I was four years ago. Some of you are with me maybe for the last three, four years, but most of you know me just a few weeks or a few months, maybe a year. Just a year ago in February, I was in Scotland and I was there for 16 years, 17 years. And exactly a year ago, I was trudging through the snow, through the snow from my home. I couldn't put up for sale. The house I was involved in mortgage that I that was set up for two people and I was doing it on my own to save myself out of a very abusive relationship. That was my runaway. The only story I created for myself when I was in a very destructive mode. So I was in this house paying mortgage that takes 90% of my income. And I was trudging through the snow to get to the car, to get to the work, 20, 30 minutes, very steep hill, every day, to get to the car, to drive in fear. Scotland is not prepared for snow. It's not prepared for snow. It, 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 it just, it just not. It's not Poland. Everyone is driving. Everyone is safe. Everything is okay. That's a totally different story. When it's snowing over there, everyone is shaking. Everyone is shaking or not getting into the car at all. And, and I'm going to the work I no longer want to be in. Surrounded by the frequency and the rules and terms and conditions that they're not in my alignment. And every time I'm there, I feel inside I'm dying. And then I'm getting back home. I'm dropping my car down the hill again. And I'm walking up the hill at the end of the day for 30 minutes to get back home, to go to bed, to repeat it all over again the next day. That was not my dream life. My dream was to set myself free out of it. Now, the three, four years before, exactly a year ago, I was trying to do it by the old masculine way, based on the desperation, 
desperation from a place of fear and unhappiness. I no longer want to be here. This is my last winter over here. I cannot deal with that any longer. Then another thing. I'm sick of it. Okay, let me do more overtime. Let me spend in that workplace more time. Let me eat less beautiful veggies and eat potatoes because that's cheaper. So let me spend more, less money on what I put into my system. Let me stop buying clothes, jewelry, anything that brings me joy. And I was doing that for three, four years. Let me, after that work that I spent so much time in, go online and help people for free. Maybe I will receive uh, compens recompensation for it or not. It was madness. Did it got me somewhere? Did it got me to the life I created right now? Nah. It helped me heal. It helped me learn. It helped me see what not to do, what is harmful to me, what doesn't work. Four years. And it didn't happen. It didn't happen. And then everything changed when I went all into this energy work. And I started realizing I've got to become inside what I want to experience on the outside. And I did not allow myself to feel dissatisfaction, resentment, or unhappiness. So when I was trudging through that snow to go to that work I didn't want it to be in, my job was to be in gratitude and in love with life for any possible reason or no reason at all, even better. And I would be listening constantly, high frequency content. And I would be reading and writing and journaling and doing affirmations. And any time in between, I would be involved in everything I am talking about here from day one. If you have not watched day one, day two, day three, I will highly advise you to go back. And this is exactly how we heal and manifest through energy. Matter doesn't change matter. It takes huge big force, lots of time, lots of effort, and it's never guaranteed. It didn't happen for me. My experience is to manifest in just few weeks, in just few months, through being that which I desire. And my dream was to be free. My dream was to feel in love with myself. My dream was to be in a normal, absolutely normal situation. Nothing extraordinary. Normal situation. Just calm situation. Just day. Normal any other day. Just feeling okay. And not hear suicidal thoughts. My dream was to be free of my past. My dream was to no longer feel a victim of my past. My dream was to no longer manifest accidents and pain and illness in my body. My dream was to sit here one day and share with others that love can move mountains if you are all in. If you are all in. Because if you are partially in, if you are here one day, one week, the next week you're, oh, I'm all good, I'm all good, yeah, yeah, I'm going to take a day off, I'm going to watch Netflix all day, drink wine and eat something, that's okay, that's fine, there is nothing wrong with it, there's no judgment there, but you cannot expect from this action taking or no action taking, uh, the results that can only come from the highest frequency. So the energy of in lower, lower energy centers of guilt and shame cannot create healing. It cannot create healed, refreshed and strong body. It just cannot. It cannot. Shame and guilt cannot create freedom and love. It only creates more of it. And that conditioned mind takes a big part in it. So when our attention always, always, some of it stays in our heart, 
we can self-regulate, we can sense if we are out of alignment, we can see if the old pattern is coming in and saying, my turn, my turn, it's your turn to feel shame, you should be ashamed of yourself because you're living in a freedom and abundance and there is someone out there in a whole wide world who is not, so you should give it away, give it away because someone out there is on lower frequency. Okay, so whatever it is that comes out for you, watch, watch yourself. If you struggle with staying consistent, hire people that they will help you, that they will be on your neck, knocking to your door every day. Eh, 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 did you do this action? What happened? If not, let's have a chat. Let's see what's on the way. Get yourself involved in a tribe that is higher frequency. We spoke yesterday about quantum entanglement. If you spend your most of your time around people who don't do what you do, it's going to be extremely difficult to raise your frequency permanently. Oh, Puccinku, you okay? You okay, Puccinku? Oh, little Puccinku came for a little bit of love. Oh, I love you. I love you, Puccinku. Oh, such a good boy. Oh. Yeah, my doggy mama. That was not a case a year ago. Everything can happen. Everything can change if you're going all in. And I wanted to share with you that there, I'm no different than you. I, I, I didn't manifest this life because I was brought up by high frequency environment and I've been surrounded by millionaires and happiness and joy. Or I manifested all of it because I was beat, beat up every single day of my childhood. No. It's only the meaning we give to what happened or didn't happen. It's only the meaning here in this now moment in our adulthood that we are giving into all of it that happened or we believe it should happen but it didn't happen. And as an adult, it is our responsibility to take care of that. And it is very easy. It is very easy to get back to the old self. It is extremely easy. Therefore, when we are understanding the basics of energy, we can see very clearly that we have to heal first our energy in order. And by healing, I mean shape shifted. I mean that that old energy is stuck, it's, 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 it's dense, when we transmute that energy into the light, it became loose. It's being transmuted on its own. You wanna cough? Put you... oh, good boy, good boy. There sometimes I come over and they just, they just, they just want your love. They just, they just want your love and attention. And until they get it, they're not happy. And I'm really happy with that. Um, there was a lot, a lot of guilt and shame within me that I had to transmute, and it's still a little bit there left. And I truly believe it might be like that for the rest of my days. But the difference is I'm no longer acting and being the traces of guilt and shame that they are left in my system somewhere. I am no longer it. And if I sense something, my job is to take myself out and use everything and everyone I can in order to allow that frequency being transmuted. Please share with me what is the most valuable for you in today's session. And please feel, feel through your heart the energy. You don't need to judge it, criticize it. You don't need to listen it to your mind. You can just simply feel it and you can just simply acknowledge it okay what's going on with me what do i deal with so if you come in, if you're moving into the house before you can bring in all this new and amazing furniture and make it the way it makes your soul sing every single day you got to first go inside and see okay what am i dealing with here what is the measurement of this wall what kind of couch can I fit in here? And if there is a mess, you need to take care of that mess and clean it up or call the 
uh, landlord and tell them, listen, lady, mister, there are few things I would like to ask you to take care of. So it is our job to take care of our internal environment. And I truly believe we didn't meant to do it on our own. There is no way I would be here without the help, one-on-one -on -one help. Between October and November, I invested $8,000 in myself, in my ever growth. Not to take out of it $8,000 or 16 or 50. No, I didn't invest it in them to give me money back in different shapes and forms. I invested in my ever growth, in my healing, in my beautiful heart in my beautiful mind, in my beautiful soul, because I desired, I didn't have to, it was no need, I was no forced, I was no push, I desired to expand, I desired to feel the way I crave in my heart to feel. Joy says, I'd love to do that, probably watch that from the beginning, but I'm tired, tied to a partner who wants to stay trudging in the snow. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. How can we look at it in a different way, Joy? How can we look at it in a different way? What would be the outlook? Let's just pretend that that never happened. You just made up this situation. How can you look at it in an empowered way? Okay, how can we look at it in an empowered way? And I know it's not a... Uh, honky dory like I've not been in a relationship for seven or eight years and now I am married with two furry babies you know in Florida I ditched Europe for some time now uh, not in a negative way just moved out of Europe I felt the call to shift uh, in a major way and I did it and I did it love this I'm going to finish this life today I'm going to ask you to tune in with your beautiful heart. Take a few deep breaths again. Watch this video again at some point today or tomorrow. Take notes and ask yourself, what is it within me that lowers my frequency every day? What feeling and emotion? Because feelings and emotions are the carrier to the next level. Or they are a, a, a driving force that makes things happen, that helps us experience. So if we are feeling deep inside guilt and shame, whether we're aware of it or not, the outside world will be manifesting that constantly. If we are feeling deep inside love and joy and freedom, because we choose with every breath, because we're so focused, we choose with every breath to feel freedom and be free, the outside world has no other choice but to manifest that and allow us to experience in the outside what we are already feeling in the inside and it isn't actually that complicated guys it isn't it's just focus it's focus it's balance and a huge big part of it is support at the moment i am having few open spots for one-on-one -on -one work with me they are running out and getting booked really fast. I don't work with everyone. I just work with few people that I feel a huge call to work with them on a very focused basis. If you feel called to ask for help and higher level of support, send me a private message. We will see if we are a match to do that work with you and help you heal profoundly your energy, your frequency, and help you manifest your heart's desires. And on Monday and Tuesday, 7th and 8th of February, we are hosting a phenomenal, very high frequency quantum dive into healed energy. And this is a quantum dive. This is a new way of manifestation. We don't roll up our sleeves and this is all we do, and we wait 15 years for something to happen, we do it here and now, and we experience it here and now. And I'll be teaching the, the DNA of energy centers. I will be teaching you about energy centers, what no one else is talking about, that helped me heal and expand in a really fast period of time, per ma 
stagnantly. Stay, jump up with my high frequency, stay there and create even more beautiful things from it. My life changed entirely and it keeps on growing and expanding because that's my focus. And I'm very, very, very grateful I can share that today with you and show you that we are no different. You and me, we're no different. Our minds can give us excuses why we're different. It's gonna tell you 24 seven why is that not gonna happen for you. It's gonna tell you why not to take action. It's gonna tell you all the time why not invest in yourself. If something brings you so much joy, maybe horse riding, your mind is gonna tell you why not to do it. How come it's too expensive for you to experience joy? Your mind is gonna tell you why not to hire a healer. Your mind is gonna tell you, your old conditioned mind, your illness in other words, is gonna tell you how come not to go and eat healthy and become light air and being having a bigger capacity for light because your old mind wants to stay in charge. It doesn't want you, it doesn't want to go away and it cannot survive when you are doing all these new things. So you cannot count on your old analytical mind to give you a new idea how to heal. Nah, that's the, that's the secret. You got to take this out of the top table. It's gonna be there, it's gonna be chatting, it's gonna be doing that. Your job is to listen to your heart and those you love and respect, those who did what you desire to achieve and experience, okay? We don't know how much longer we have in this lifetime. Maybe 10 years, maybe 50, maybe three. Who knows, right? Imagine that you are an old, old, old lady on a deathbed. And what would you say to your today self? You're a really old lady or a mister, whichever one you prefer. And you are on a deathbed. You're relaxing. You are at peace. You are so at peace. You're so relaxed. And now you can see. What would you say to your today self? And when you can listen with your heart, you will get an answer. What do you need to stop doing? What do you need to start doing every day? Where, where, which, path, which pattern goes in your background? And that lady tells you, are you kidding me? Enough is enough. Okay. Who you need to hire to help you? Who you need to ask for help? What book it is right now time to read? Day and night until you are reaching this last page. Okay? Your heart knows the answers. Uh, Michelle says, thank you, Elisa. Beautiful message. Thank you so much for being here. Cindy says, thank you so much for sharing your story. We all have our story to overcome. Hold the light, my friends. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Trish Lily says, thank you, Lisa. My heart is open to manifest positive things in life. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'm going to send every single one of you lots and lots of love. Please journal it all out. Take all these actions that we were talking about. Love yourself enough to gift yourself with your own focus focusing on your light, focusing on what is needed to be done here. I was carrying the conditioning that the constant focus what others are doing wrong. <laughs> that, no wonder I was stuck for 35 years of my life. No wonder. No wonder when I started shifting my attention here and fulfilling my own needs instead of chasing for other people, partners to fulfill my needs, everything changed. Woo! The, part, the true party, freedom party, free celebration of life, celebration of me began, began. And the party is still going. Join the party. I will see you tomorrow at 1 
Kiem EST here on my profile. Please share this content with others. Allow yourself to go all in, not partially. If you want to implement the belief that you are worthy of all, not just some, you got to take actions in accordance with that new belief you need to implement. I will see you tomorrow at one o'clock. Oh, I'm so excited. And in love with life. I'm sending you lots of love. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being phenomenal. Thank you for connecting with me and allowing me to feel your heart and your love and your appreciation. I felt it all the way. Thank you.